Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the basic and more advanced equipment you need to start karting in 2023. This ranges from everything to very simple and cheap to obtain things like uh, gloves or a balaclava, all the way up to a full race suit and a helmet. So if you're interested in starting karting this year from anything from rentals to owner karting, then stick around and uh, we'll look at some stuff you might need. Okay, so first up we have some gloves. This was the first thing that I bought when I started karting, as you can tell because they're a little bit uh, dirty at the moment, they need to be washed, but you can find these on Amazon or any other website. I'll link these ones in the description. And they're basically just like cycling gloves almost, but for motorsport obviously. They're going to keep your hands nice and protected from stuff on the track. They'll keep you a little bit warm and most importantly they'll stop all the vibrations going through here in your hand from ridiculously hurting as if you've tried karting you'll know after about 10 minutes your knuckles and fingers start to get very sore if you don't have proper gloves also if you don't have your own helmet a balaclava is a really good idea and some tracks even require you to have one if you're borrowing their helmets because Otherwise, you're wearing and sweating in the same helmet that a lot of other people have been wearing and sweating in. And it's just you wanna you wanna have a balaclava if you're doing that. You can find a balaclava from everywhere, from a couple of pounds to fifty pounds for a full fireproof crazy one. Next up, we have shoes. This was actually the last thing I got for all of my kit. These are brand new. I've never used them, and. Uh, for this season I just used some trainers, some running shoes, and uh, they work just fine. So if you want something that's just a bit more comfortable, they might have this uh, cut out in the end, so as you're moving your foot like this it doesn't tug on your heel as much, and uh, they have a slightly different sole, but uh, really nice to have, not incredibly important. If you want them and you can afford them, I recommend them, but otherwise you can stick to just as you start pair of trainers. Something that's surprisingly important is rib protection. So you put this on just like a coat around both your shoulders and then you fasten it in the middle and what this does is it stops the side of your, the seat from banging against your ribs and giving you bruises. This is a very very nice thing to have especially for not necessarily while you're driving, but for the days after when you don't have the amount of bruises that you would normally. This is something I absolutely recommend getting as soon as possible, even before you have your own suit or helmet. Speaking of suits, they are next on the list. Here is my one. It's an OMP Summer K art suit. Most places in the UK require you to have a suit, whether you borrow it from them or use your own. And if you're doing a championship like Club 100, then you'll need to get your own. If you're doing a owner driver championship, then you'll need to look into getting a homologated one. And you can tell it's homologated because probably in the product description it'll say. And it'll also have a stamp just here on the neck. Mine doesn't have it, but it'll be a big square, have the FIA logo, and have all the details of the homologation just there. But for rental karting, something like this is just perfect. It'll keep you uh, clean from all the dust and grit and rubber and various other things on track. And if you get a waterproof one, it'll keep you dry as well, which I recommend if you're in the UK. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have a helmet. This is probably going to be the most expensive part of all your kit but also the uh, most important. Obviously, you need to get a good helmet so it protects your head. This is my one just here. And you can spend anywhere from about 80 pounds to a thousand on helmets. You can get a custom painted one or get one off the internet like this that might have a nice paint job. You can get them completely blank, loads of colors, whatever you want. There's plenty of helmets to choose from, but uh, yeah, this is more of a, a personal choice. How much you spend is gonna affect a little bit but if you want to not commit too much money to it you can get a relatively cheap helmet that's going to keep you safe enough and if you want to spend loads on a fully custom really homologated to everything uh, you can take it car racing you can take it karting whatever you could spend thousands 
One last thing you might need if there is a minimum weight for your championship is your own seat insert or some lead ballast weights to put onto the car. If you're doing something like Club 100, they can be supplied by the championship. But if you're doing like a rental series or owner karting, you're going to need to provide those yourself. You can see here is an example of my seat without any weight added to it yet. And that's what I'll be using next year. If there's no minimum weight or you're above the minimum weight for your championship, you won't need one of these. But if you do, it's worth looking at ways you think would be the best to add weight to your car, whether that's sticking stuff on the side of a seat or using one of the mounts on the cart in order to put some just lead ballast weights on, which you can find on the internet specifically made for karting or just repurpose some old weights of some kind. All right, so that is it. Everything you need for karting in 2023. If you're starting karting next year, then have loads of fun. And if you're looking to upgrade some of your kit, then hopefully stuff I've shown you and the order in which to buy it has, uh, has helped a little bit. But regardless, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.